Well, most classic Corvettes have lots of chrome all over the place. Around all the windshields, there's stainless steel moldings. The only place you really have rubbers is in the door jams. Well, today's cars are totally different. There's no chrome anymore. But there's lots of rubber. The, the windshields are flush mounted. The side rubbers here extend well into the panel. And of course, the door jams, there's a rubber tuck behind there. Well, best practices has a way of masking a car properly, and it involves some premium trim tape. The beauty of this tape here is it's got about three quarters of an inch of mylar, which slides underneath the rubber and doesn't catch. And it allows you to kind of lift the rubber up and out of the way. Then the sticky portion of the tape can be stuck down to either the glass or the bodywork itself. Nice way to get the rubber up and out of the way and get paint right underneath it. Well, one of the things with best practices is making sure there's no overspray in the door jams. And one of the ways to do it is with this premium foam tape. The nice thing with this foam tape is the fact that it's got to split up the middle and it also has an offset sticky portion here in it. It's about 20 mils wide, which is great for the A-pillar. It's pretty simple to put on and make sure that there's no overspray in the jam. The nice thing too is you can use that split as your guide for how far you should be going in. The idea is not to stretch it. You want to just get it behind there. The other nice thing too is you can pull it off and push it back down and it remains nice and sticky so it's not gonna come off. Then you can just close the door and then use a spreader just to push it in as far as you want. Depends what sort of pattern you want there and how much you wanna go into the jam. And the blend line will pretty much be invisible. Now we've got a standard foam tape, a round foam tape that works great on the stationary position here. Now the thing is you don't want to pull on the foam again, you just want it to lay down without any tension on it. You can use the spreader again just to adjust the foam to where you're happy with it. Now the other option again is to use the premium foam on the moving part, the door, instead of the standard foam on the fixed part. And it's a slick way as well. And what you want to make sure is just that you have the sticky part just going to the edge so you don't get any hard lines. And just use your spreader and adjust the foam to where you want it. So for some of the trim now, you're going to use fine line. And that'll allow us to work around some tight corners. We've got eighth, we've got quarter inch, and we've got half inch. We're going to start with the eighth here on the door pad. What it allows us to do is get right in the edge there. Okay, we're going to do the same around the mirror trying to get it in as tight as we can. Now all of Carborundum's paper is poly-coated, which is nice. Paint can peel off, go back on, and you don't tear the paper apart. Because very rarely do you get it right on the first go around. So here we're gonna go around the corner. That's one of the other nice features about the Carborundum paper is it's very flexible. So we can back it up, pull it off, put it back on. And it goes around corners quite nicely, actually.
Now that carborundum poly bag, it's great for painting, but you know what, we found another use for it. We cover all the cars that aren't getting worked on because it clings nicely to it, as does the paint because of the corona treatment on it. What a nice thing, it tells you which side to paint on because again, it's been treated. So you want to make sure you have the right side up. Then all we want to do is cut open the door opening that we're going to paint. Now we're going to cut the sheeting along the critical masking edge. We're going to do it across the top of the door, the front of the door, and the rear of the door. Then we're just going to take inch and a half tape, make sure we seal that to the other paper. And that's best practices for masking.